It is the birthday of the Emperor of Ethiopia, Emperor Haile Selassie. The miraculous survived baby to be the future Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia. Emperor Haile Selassie's story starts with miraculous survival, so no one ever expected him to sit on the throne and lead the country for half a century. The Emperor's mother, Mrs. Yashimabet, married Haile Selassie's father, Raz Mekonen, at the age of 12. Even though she was pregnant eight times, she did not manage to deliver a baby even once. While she was desperate of delivering a baby to feel the love and cuddle, she became pregnant for the ninth time, and the boy joined this world in peace. His survival by itself for the mother was more than being a king. As she tried eight times but did not succeed to have a baby, once she saw Haile Selassie survived two years, she hoped to have a younger brother or sister for her boy and became pregnant, but did not manage to deliver the baby. Unfortunately, the baby died as soon as it was born. Mrs. Yashimabet was weakened and grieved. Emperor Haile Selassie's mother also passed away. Despite their frequent birth defects and miscarriages, moreover, she passed away at the age of 30 after being married for 18 years and Haile Selassie was 2 years and 8 months old. The emperor's father, Raz Mekonen Volder Michael, also died suddenly in March 14 years after his wife's death while he traveled on his way to Addis Ababa for medical treatment. It was miraculous divine interference for Haile Selassie to lead Great Ethiopia, being the only child alive in their childhood. He was born on July 23, 1892, in a mud hut in the village of Ejersa Goro in the Harhar province of Ethiopia. Haile Selassie's mother was paternally of Oromo descent and maternally of Guraji heritage while his father was both maternally and paternally Amhara. It is through his paternal grandmother's royal lineage which he was able to ascend the imperial throne. He was originally named Lij Tafari Makonen, so he was the only surviving and legitimate son of Raz Makonen, the governor of Harhad. Among his father's important allies was his cousin, Emperor Menalik II, who did not have a male heir to succeed him. Haile Selassie was raised as a Christian, and at his infant baptism he was also given the name Haile Selassie, which he adopted as his official name in 1930 when he became emperor. Haile Selassie translates to Power of the Trinity and he was also known as the King of Kings. He is believed to be a direct descendant of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, two ancient rulers from the 10th century BCE. Raised as a Christian, Tafari was educated by private European tutors. Haile Selassie spent his youth at the imperial court of Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Surrounded by constant political plots, he learned much about the wielding of power. Menelik no doubt recognized Tafari's capacity for hard work, his excellent memory, and his mastery of detail. The emperor rewarded the youth's intellectual and personal capabilities by appointing him, at the age of 14, the governor of Gara Muleta in the province of Harar. When he was 20, the emperor appointed him commander of the extensive province of Sidamo. This was part one of Emperor Haile Selassie's story. Thanks for watching. Please stay with us to learn and enjoy more of Africa's fascinating stories.